You're now tuned into the Lady Charmaine Live Show, and I'm your host, Lady Charmaine, and as always, I have another great interview for you today. Now, when you think of TV shows like SWAT, Justified, or All American, this person just might come to mind, and I tell you who it is coming up right after this. My guest today is an actor and producer. He has appeared in movies and TV shows and music videos like Lil Nas X's Old Town Road, Boys in the Hood, SWAT, and currently All-American. And he is here today to talk about his new film, Shepherd. I want you to help me welcome to the Lady Charmaine Live show, Mr. Kareem Grimes, also known as Preach. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, you know, I had to throw in that preach because, you know, that's the show that's popping right about now. So we're going to be talking about that as well. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Now, Kareem, one thing I can can say about you is that you are truly a BMW, and that means a black man working in this industry. So congratulations. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of people can't say that, especially in this industry. You have been now working consistently. I mean, you have just a roster now built up under your name of shows and including music videos. What does that feel like for you to be a man consistently working in this industry at this time? It's a it's a blessing. It, it truly is a blessing. Um, and, uh, you know, nothing but God. Uh, being able to stay in this business for this long and be, and be consistent at it. And I think it's just the drive. Um, I love what I do. Um, I have a passion for it and a love for it. And, uh, you know, I put 110% in it. And, uh, you know, I always tell people, you know, the more you deposit into your uh, your career, whatever you do, the greater your return will be. So uh, that's what I live by. Now, out of all the careers out there, from doctors, engineers, sports players, why acting? What drew you to that career? Um, it started off just as a, as a young kid, uh, you know, watching TV, and you know, I don't want to date myself, but I will. But you know, watching Flip Wilson and you know uh, Gary Coleman and, and, and Richard Pryor, and Bill, you know Bill Cosby, and all these other guys, these comedians. Uh, and, uh, you know, just, just wanting to be in front of the camera. Um, mm. you know, my mom had parties and family and I would be the entertainment. So, okay. uh, for me, uh, that, that, that kind of put a bug there and, uh, you know, we, uh, I told my mom what I wanted to do and, uh, you know, she, she had a couple of friends in the business and, uh, you know, that's how, that's how I got started. But yeah, just like being, I like to entertain. Um, and, uh, that, that, that's always been a passion of mine. Okay. Now I know that I read that you were in Boys in the Hood, right? So I said he was in Boys in the Hood. Let mm-hmm. me Google who he was in Boys in the Hood and what came up? You was the kid yeah. at the ice cream truck. <laughs> that was your title. So, yeah. <laughs> so I said, I got to go back now and watch to see the kid at the ice cream truck so I can remember you. About how old yeah. were you at the time? How old were you at that time? Uh, wow. Well, I think I was like 13 years old. Okay. Um, Funny story, I, uh, for that film, I was an extra, um, and I was on there maybe for, it was about a week, mm. you know, I want to say maybe the second week, um, you know, we were shooting a scene, and, uh, we, we went to lunch, and, uh, we just threw the ball around, and John Singleton came over there to me, was like, hey, you know, just asking the questions, going to phone him, how old am I, and he was just like, you know what, I'm going to give you some lines, are you cool with that? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, you know, to be honest, that was that was really the start of it. You know, John Singleton gave me a shot, and, uh, you know, I ran with it. So uh, the scene is when they were kids, Doughboy and Little Chris get arrested, mm-hmm. and they're coming out of the house, and I have a Jerry Curl wig with my hat turned back with a striped shirt. And I'm like, yeah, man, what happened? And that is my that is my claim to fame. That is my <laughs> contribution right there. 
<laughs> to boys in the hood. You know, it's, it's funny because, you know, obviously you must have had that it factor at the time because it's funny. I have a similar story. I was an extra in a movie. I was 15 and then they came over one day and gave me lines and that was the start of my career. So it's kind of similar. I was just happy to yeah. be on the set as an extra. Mm -hmm. Just as an extra. So I na now we were talking about Preach. Now, you know, this is my show, All American. Man, I mean, it got us all just yeah. wrapped up. Did you guys expect this show to be as popular as it is and literally a show that's popular among our culture right now that it was going to do something for the culture? This is crazy because I was watching the show before I even got on it uh, because the, the character, the premise of the show was kind of close to me. Um, I grew up in South Central. We were born and raised in Inglewood, uh, but I got bust. I went to Palisades, mm. I went to Paris here, um, but I did the opposite. So I went to I went to Palis I went to Paris here, Palisades, and then I transferred to Dorsey High School. Mm. Dorsey High School at that time was a powerhouse in football. So and it was literally right down the street from uh, from where I, uh, where I live. Mm. So I kind of did the the opposite, but uh, you know the, the the story resonated so much with me. Um, and of course, I think uh, I think why it's popular it's it's representation right. Um, right. of you know young uh, young African American people, and I think that's just been it's a bit lacking. But now you have a TV show that actually gives you representation to where everybody can see themselves on TV and and, and relate. So, um, like I said before, I, I've been I, I was watching the show before I actually got on, and uh, you know once I had the opportunity to uh, to audition. Uh, you know, boom, here we are, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been taken off. It's been a blessing. Yes. Um, and uh, this will be my second time working with NK, uh, K. T. Coro. She is the showrunner. Mm -hmm. Um, and the first project that we met was Bones. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I did an episode of Bones, it was her script that was uh the, the for that episode where I played a, a young man from Sierra Leone who was an amputee who was accused of murdering his friend. So mm. that was my first time working with NK, and then boom, we circled back. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're working together on uh, on All American. That's wonderful. Now we're going to talk about your new film. It's called yeah. Shepherd. It is streaming beginning March 10th. Yeah. Tell us about the film and your role. Yeah. Uh, so I play uh, Dwyer, Mr. Dwyer, um, who is a, uh, a teacher. Mm -hmm. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, Ray's teacher, and uh, he, he sees something in Ray. You know, this, 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 this kid who comes in class, um, doesn't really say much, but, you know, when, when, we, when we are having class, he kind of answers questions, and he sees something special in him, and uh, kind of follows him a little bit uh, to see how he's doing, and, and, you know, sees that he, you know, had some, some trouble with some bullies and kind of steps in. It lets you know, hey, I'm here for you. Uh, I, I know what you're going through. It's just really a support system. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's what, that's what Mr. Dwyer is, uh, is there for. And uh, he kind of gets himself uh, caught up in between Ray's dealings. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to too much away. But, uh, but yeah, so that, that, that's, that's, that's Mr. Dwyer. It's just, you know, a teacher that really um, is there for the kids and, 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 and wants to just, you know, of any assistance and help because we see the struggle uh, that Ray's going through. Well, thank you so much for telling us about the film that's streaming again on March 10th on all streaming services and also major yes. cable networks. I want you to check out Mr. Kareem Grimes and also he's in All American. You can check that out on Monday nights on the CW. And again, I want to say thank you yes, so indeed. much. Yes, Kareem, for coming on the show. And before we go, I know you got to go let people Thanks know where they, can, where they can find you on social media. Absolutely. Uh, it's Kareem Grimes all across the board. That's K A R E E M G R I M as in N E S on Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, all across the board. Wonderful. Again, thank you so much, Kareem, for coming on the show. And I look forward to having you back. Thank you so much. And you have an amazing day. You too, Kareem. Thank you so much.
And again, don't forget to check out Shepard streaming on all major cable networks streaming beginning March the 10th. You make sure you check it out. And don't forget All American Monday nights on the CW. So CW, one of my favorite shows and the Lady Charmaine live show is sponsored by... The Lady Charmaine Live Show is sponsored by Tesra Rogers of Pacific Bay Estates, your home buying broker for all of your real estate needs. Tesra is a loan officer and escrow officer, so Tesra is qualified to answer all of your real estate questions. Tesra will walk me through my home buying process and provided me with all the information that I needed to be well informed. You can contact Tesra at PacificBayEstates.com or call 760-508-3914. That's 760-508-3914. 8 Tezra is looking forward to matching you with the perfect home. Again, call Tezra at 760-508-3914 or just go online to PacificBayEstates.com and let her know that Lady Charmaine sent you.